Now we've just taken delivery of these two stunning, characterful, British made, head turning motorcycles. Now we've been wanting to get our hands on these bikes for about five years and it's taken us a while but now that we've got hold of them they're so much fun. So we've just come for a little ride uh, into the town centre of Oakham which is a lovely old market town in Rutland. Beautiful place. Uh, and we're just going to go for a little ride today and get to grips with these bikes because this is the first time we've ridden a CCM. These are CCMs. This is the uh, Maverick and this is the Bobber and they're both stunning. So, so good looking. So uh, I'll tell you what, they sound incredible as well. First impressions when I saw these bikes this morning was, wow, they are absolutely stunning bikes. And I got on and started the Maverick. I haven't ridden the Bobber yet. And we rode to here. And the first feeling I got from the bike was that it feels like an old motocross bike from the sort of 1990s. It's got that wonderful, um, talky, instantaneous response that you get with those sort of motocross bikes and it feels really good. So it's a very characterful engine, it sounds absolutely incredible. So we came here, everyone was turning their heads down the high street because they, they are quite loud. But they're also very beautiful, so wherever you stop people are stopping to talk to you about the motorbike and that's fantastic. How old is he? Um, they're 20, 22 months. 22 months. Yeah. And you already like motorbikes? Oh yeah. That's a good start. All vehicles basically. Yeah. Likes that bit, doesn't it? A bit like that. <laughs> so best, best part. Motorbike. Likes carbon fibre. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Expensive taste. That's it. Now we're going to head to a beautiful, quintessentially British pub in a moment. We're quite spoilt in Rutland because every village has got a beautiful pub. So uh, we're going to head to one of those, have a nice drink, sit outside in the beautiful sunshine, get to know these bikes a little bit more. And really, I just want you to hear these bikes because I've not really understood how good these sound from hearing them on videos before. So hopefully that will come across. Uh, it's hard to get the feeling when you're watching it through a phone, but these sound incredible. They really, really do sound good. So uh, let's head off into the countryside and we'll take you along on the ride. My teeth, look, I mean, look at the sleeves. <laughs> They're stuck to me. Oh my God. It's not as hot as it was in Spain, but in England, the heat is, it's much more humid. So you end up getting really sticky and sort of wet <laughs> and sweaty because there's so much moisture in the air. Whereas when you go to somewhere like Spain uh, or Portugal or these sort of countries that are closer to the equator, they're much drier. So the heat's much nicer because it's a comfortable dry heat and you think, oh, I could sit out in this. But when you sit and sunbathe in England, you just end up completely wet. <laughs> so it's not so enjoyable. We've had a lovely ride from the old town of Oakham where we started the video through some beautiful country lanes all the way up here where we stopped to do the ride by shot so you can hear and see what the bike looks like moving along. But there's something about this CCM Maverick, and well, I still haven't ridden the bobber, so that's coming. 
uh, it just makes me ride like a hooligan. It's I don't know why, but I want to really rag it and drive it on. And I sort of did them doing burnouts on the cut grass and stuff like that. I mean, it, it's not normally what I ride like, but I used to do motocross, so maybe it just makes me feel like that. Uh, so it's bringing back memories of the old days when I was more sideways than straight. But it's a lovely motorcycle. And we're nearly at the beautiful old pub in this lovely old village. We'll show you around when we get there. But so far, massively impressed with these bikes. And it's a terrible shame that we've never, ever managed to get hold of one. Because I remember first contacting them when we had 4,000 subscribers. Have a look at our number now. It's been a long time. Um, we've seen them at shows. But I genuinely think in this day and age, you need to be on YouTube uh, with reviewers like ourselves and a few of the others. Uh, to get across what the bike feels like, because you can see it in a show, and I stand. Yeah, they look nice. But, you know, how many people go through a show and they're looking, most of them want sort of pointy plastic bikes. These things are very unusual. This isn't a review, so uh, don't start thinking, oh, why haven't we started talking about the bikes properly? Uh, we will be doing a separate review of each of these CCMs, um, but we literally got these yesterday. So um, it's Sunday as of filming this. Amazing, they delivered it on a Saturday. Uh, it was delivered by Move Motorcycles and they rang me up Friday night and said, oh, we've got a driver free tomorrow. Uh, are you about? I said, yes, please, the sooner the better um, because I wanted to see what these are like. And um, yeah, as, as the old man said, I mean, especially the sound of the bikes, I haven't been able to feel that or, or experience that um, through other videos. Uh, and I hopefully you can pick that up on this. It's very hard to put across sound of a motorcycle on YouTube or on Instagram, etc. because uh, you're listening to it out of a phone or unless you've got perhaps a really good hi-fi sound system in your uh, living room, then perhaps you might get a bit of an understanding of the bass and the feeling of the bike, not just the sound, because it's a feeling as well. Um, but these sound incredible. It really does take me back. I mean, the old man said to his motocross days, but when I was, um, you know, two, three, four years old, I would come to the motocross track and watch the old man as he goes around and other people. Um, and I absolutely love that. That was my favorite thing to do was watching them go over the jumps, the smell, the sounds of the two stroke and the four stroke uh, motocross bikes is something else. Uh, and we used to go to Ellsworth motocross track. So let us know down in the comments if you remember Ellsworth, uh, but I believe it's been flattened now which is a terrible shame uh, to make room for housing um, and i think also that a lot of people were complaining about the noise it's like well hold on a minute the motocross track got here first not your new house so uh, you know you should have known that when you bought your house there's a motocross track down the road don't start complaining about it move somewhere else <laughs> now we stopped here to do some shots of the bikes but coincidentally in the distance i thought what the hell's that and there's a big circus tent uh, over there in that field and I can s just hear some sort of music in the background. So I think we need to go over there and have a look and see what, the, what on earth is going on. Um, but I don't want to pay to go and see a circus, but we can have a, have a little nosy. get close enough to it but just hearing the music I can't think of anything worse than being in there can you <laughs> it looks, sounds terrible but uh, oh well there it is so uh, see you at the pub <laughs> We've 
just stopped off again en route because we're so hot. We just want to cool down and stretch our legs. Found this lovely place. Now we're gonna, not gonna go here today. We're gonna come here in another video because it looks so nice. Um, but I just wanted to mention, um, if you can see here, I'm wearing uh, a chest mount. Now I film a lot from the chest position and I bought this really cheap chest mount on Amazon because um, I thought I'd save some money and get a cheap one. It's absolutely rubbish. The things keep pinging off, it's terrible. Uh, and I also bought a very cheap foam mount. Uh, it was, was £9.99. I thought, oh, I'm not going to spend a lot of money on it. I'll get a cheap one. It's absolute junk. It's so bad. I can promise you it's not worth the money buying a cheap one. So listen to Darcy, what he's going to tell you now. You can buy a cheap mount for your phone on Amazon. And I've, I've done the same. I've, I've had a, a different brand uh, of foam mount and it was just terrible i mean it was like a pouch that you put your phone in the phone was loose it'd get all foggy and messed up and you couldn't see your phone so i absolutely swear by quad lock now and i would never ever use any other mount and i'm not just saying that this is really top of the notch is the best on the market so if you want a phone mount this is the one to have this one i've put on this ccm today is the new chrome mount which looks lovely and it suits this uh, ccm bobber absolutely fantastically uh, i've got the vibration dampener on there as well so if you want a phone mount this is the one to get the link for quad lock is in the description so go and check them out Three. Sorry. Oh dear? Yeah, oh no. Sorry. Oh okay. What time is it? It's twelve past. past. Sorry. Oh, okay. <laughs> I mean, were you just wanting beers? It's probably just a, a, a small drink, yeah. I mean, we do something to have out in the garden if that's alright. If that's alright, yeah, we'll yeah, sit yeah, out yeah, here. Oh, thank you, like you very much. Yeah. Like sorry? You do coffees or something? Yeah, I could do a cup of coffee. Could, yeah. I, could I just have a Coke, please? Yeah, Coke yeah. and a coffee, yeah. Thank you very much. Okay, thank oh, you. thank you. So, so far, we're having a great time on these bikes. Fantastic days riding. So make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss the review of each of these bikes. Uh, but we want to do more videos like the one you've seen today um, because we like making them and we like going to interesting places and interesting villages, the countryside. Um, so we want to bring you along with us because we do that anyway. So we thought, why don't we film this and put it on YouTube? So hopefully you've liked this format of today's video. And if you want to see more, let us know down in the comments below. Uh, but we'll see you in the next video.